Here's our next example to illustrate a very important idea about when we should or shouldn't square both sides to solve an equation. Here's an example where it, we don't want to square both sides just yet, and it's because our radical is not isolated. When we do square root of both sides, we want our radical to be isolated so we can cancel. If we don't have our radical isolated, then to square both sides, we have two terms here. We would have to do FOIL, and FOIL is not going to cancel our radical. So it needs to be isolated. The radical needs to be isolated before you square both sides. And that plus 1 is outside of the radical. So I need to get rid of it off of the left side. It's canceled there. We have that radical isolated. Square root of negative 2x equals 6. Now that radical is isolated. And, and when I say isolated, I mean it's, it's here on its side of the equation with nothing else before or after it. I have only this radical. I've got the equal 6 on the other side of the equation. So this radical is isolated. And now I can square both sides. The square root and the square will cancel. And the radicand, what's inside, comes out. Negative 2x equals 6 times 6. 36. Remember, this is a, an equation. We're trying to find the solution. What does x equal? So there's one last move. Divide by negative 2. There's our solution. x equals negative 18. And now it's time for the check. In place of that x, negative 18. And cautious about where our radical begins and ends. I want to make sure that that plus 1 stays outside of the radical. And checking this equation. So I'm keeping left side, right side separate. I'll work on the left side and hope that I end up with a 7 to match up with the 7 on the right side. So order of operation says... Do the math inside the radical first. Before we even think of this plus 1, we need to do what's inside the radical, then do that square root, and then we can do the add 1 because it's outside of the radical. Inside, negative 2 times negative 18. That'll be a positive 36. Bringing down that plus 1. Now we can do this square root of 36 is 6. And the 6 plus 1 does equal 7. So there's a check. And x equals negative 18 is our solution. Here's another example. Uh, just to emphasize that before we do exponent of 2 on both sides, we want to make sure that the radical is isolated. In this case, we have a plus 7 that's outside of the radical, and even a coefficient on this radical a times 8. So when I'm thinking about isolating the radical... It's that part, just that radical, that I would like to see all alone on the left side of the equation. The other parts, the 7 and the 8, I want to get rid of those. So this added 7, get rid of it with minus 7, both sides. The steps are pretty similar to what you would do to solve an equation. If this was 8x plus 7 equals 31, and I wanted to solve for x, I would take away 7 on each side. Bring down what's left over right side, that's a 24. And now I'm looking at that times 8. Right here, 8 times the radical. Do the opposite, divide by 8, both sides. Square root of 6x minus 9, so those cancel, those 8's canceled. Here, this is a divide evenly equals 3. Now the radical is isolated. Now I can do square both sides. The left side, square root and the square cancel, 6x minus 9 equals 9. And let's finish solving this one up. We'll do an add 9 both sides. Cancel. We've got 6x equals 18. And then the divide by 6. All 
right, x equals 3. Let's check it. 8 times square root of 6 times 3 minus 9. So I'm just recopying this equation exactly. Where I had the x, I've got the 3. After that radical, it's plus 7 should equal 31. All right. So we're working the left side, hoping to find it equal to 31. We've got to work inside the radical. Multiply 6 times 3 is 18 minus 9. I'll just take my time. Save that, subtract for this step. 18 minus 9 is 9. Remember, when we're doing order of operations, it is work the radicand first. As soon as we have our radicand down to one number, now we execute that square root. Do that square root of 9 equals 3. And remember that this 8 out front, that's a multiplication. So when we see square root of 9 is 3, that 8 is still going to be multiplied. And it's going to be multiplied definitely before we think about this add 7. There's 24 plus 7 does equal 31. Great job.